Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to Colony Survival. Yes, it has, it's been a while since we played this, and I was like, you know what, I really like Colony Survival. I am going to, you know, give it a try again. By give it a try again, I mean I'm going to actually just, you know, go play it, because why wouldn't I? I mean, I do thoroughly enjoy it. Wow, it's so snappy compared to uh, Vintage Story. My uh, poor brain is just, like, very confused right now. Um, so, basically, what we were doing here is, obviously, you know, we're creating a, a much larger space for, you know, all this stuff. But also, yeah, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of this stuff. I don't know what we're going to work on in this uh, episode, though. I am sort of torn on that, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, what we got? Do we have... All right, we have a couple of these, and we actually have a couple of these. So I think what I'm going to do is place these right here. That way, these three will go here when they want stuff. Um, I think same thing for... You know, these as well. We'll just uh, we'll just set those there like that. That ought to do it. All right. Let's see how we're doing on resources. So we have water. We have the empty pots. We don't really have much else. Uh, yeah, they're just making the gruel. <clears throat> And the water guys are slowly and steadily. Okay, so we're not we're not like maxed out or. I always thought you could get on top of that. Oh yeah, you can. It's weird. Kind of feels like the collision on some of that stuff changed, but. Mm. Let's see here. Well, I mean, obviously, of course, we need to bump that up to, you know. There we go. It'll give them something to do, you know? And we definitely, definitely want to give them something to do. So, I w I've been thinking about this for a while because, believe it or not, I actually did not forget at all about Colony Survival. It's just, I, for some strange reason, just didn't... I'm not really sure what the reasoning for that is, but regardless, regardless, um, you know, we're back and uh, I'm actually going to move the berry farms and everything else into their own tower. Uh, the underground, I think I'm just going to use for mining. And the reason for it is it's just so time consuming to do that stuff, whereas building multi-layered towers is uh, easier. A lot easier, I might add. I've also learned a lot as well. Um, you know, from playing with uh, Pan, who is on the Discord, for those of you who are on the Discord. Um, yeah. So, let's see. I think I put... Where did I put the... I don't know where I put it. Uh, oh, it's right in front of my face. That's I can't find it now because it's literally right in front of my face. I mean, you know, come on. Wow. We do not have a lot of uh, point storage there. Um, no. So... We could increase the number of colonists, which, eh, maybe. I feel like there's something missing here that used to be here. I can't remember what it is. I am going to increase that. Uh, we need a lot more resources before we can do a whole lot of other stuff. But, you know, that's okay. Alright. Also, they have a new lighting system that recently came out, and... It is so much, well, it's different, for sure. But it also feels, 
less harsh, I guess. You know, it, it really does. It feels so much less harsh than before. Um, which is fine. I like how I made this very beautiful, you know, thing. And now I'm just kind of like, just doing whatever. Ah! Really? Well, that was a waste. I don't know why I thought that that was the cobblestone, but apparently my brain thought it was the cobblestone, so... What are you gonna do? Alright, we're gonna get rid of this. We need to use it for other things, obviously. Actually, I can't remember. Was I going to use that? Oh, right, right. I was going to... Never mind. Never, ever mind. I remember now. It's been too long since I played. This is why you shouldn't go, you know, a very long time in between your your videos. You get kind of... You get lost. It's so lost. Okay, I need to... I need to get up there. Yeah, I remember now. Because I was trying to determine if this was tall enough. And it, it is. It's a little... Uh, claustrophobic -y, but... We can... We can live with it. Ooh. Yeah, I need to go over here and see what we have over here. I think the main thing to do is just place more beds and just not worry about it. What we really need is like, you know, a tower of just just beds. Just a whole tower that exists solely for beds. Because, see, the problem is, is that this right here really eats up a lot of resources. See, this requires cobblestone. So, they have to make the cobblestone so that then they can make the next thing that they need in the list. And, I mean, it, unfortunately, it, it eats up a lot of resources and time. The good news, though, is that, uh, well, everybody's going straight to work, which is always nice. I don't... I don't really think I have to worry too much out here. One thing I would like, though, is better water. Um, because we're, like, just barely getting by with the water. Uh, now, as for food, I haven't really been paying too much attention to that. But I think we're, like, just staying, you know, ahead of everything. Which is kind of unfortunate. So... Yeah, it's unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Cool. And that'll net me a few extra beds, but also... Is it? No, it's not F1. It is right-click. There we go. We want a wheat farmer. I'm also uh, hoping... That, uh, like, this setup, along with me placing, you know, some uh, resource points, you know, a little bit of here, a little bit of there. I'm also hoping that that will, uh, you know, like these here. Just, maybe it's wishful thinking, uh, but one thing that I really am hopeful for is that, uh, let's see, I'm just going to put this here. There we go. Hmm, sorry. There we go. Nice. I mean, it's going to be a bit of a shame because I built that really nice area down here. You know, this area, this beautiful area, and I'm basically just going to tear it right out. Just going to tear it right out. Going to go up. But maybe I'll keep it. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'll maybe I'll keep this and I'll go down. I, I'm not really certain. As to what I'll do. Uh, I might even just completely remake this whole area. 
Uh, that is something that I was considering, like making everything like a little pod with the beds. You know, everybody gets four beds or whatever. Um, and then, you know, grocery and other stuff. So uh, we'll see. But it'll require a lot more digging. So for now, we're just going to leave it as is as we continue to inspect everything else. And we just need to see how stuff is going. So it's going-ish. Yay, we get to, like, run over this way. Okay, well, I mean, that part is done. Now we just kind of, like, you know, need to lay in the floor, which that should be easy enough. I mean, it's just a bunch of dirt. Yeah, I've always liked how simple this game is. It really is, like, just a very simple game. And yet, it at the times, it's just so complex. I love it. I'm a huge fan. Okay, so now we have this next part. And, you know, we kind of want to start... Wow, that took 100. I mean, I guess that makes sense, right? 10 by 10. Obviously, of course, it'd be 100. Um, we're doing fine on clay. Water's doing good. The pots are doing good. We're not really keeping up with the firewood. Which is... Okay, I guess. I mean... Yeah. Okay, we'll just... We'll just go down. I mean, it's... To be honest, this is kind of easy to fix if you ask me. You know, we just go in here and... Uh, oh gosh, where are they at? And then colony and recruit to fill all jobs. There we go. Yeah, these guys are making all the planks. And then, obviously, these guys will step in. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. It's probably, well, not that you guys heard me, but I was thinking to myself and even responding to myself, because, you know, I'm feeling a little crazy today. Um, let me see here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, there we go. That should, should do the trick. Uh, I'm going to grab both these stone masons and one more splitting stump. Okay, and then we'll rush over here as fast as humanly possible. There we go. And then we'll, once again, we'll just go back into the colony and we'll just recruit to fill all jobs. And there you go. Because, truthfully, the big problem... Yeah, there's no wheat. Yeah, that's... That's kind of a big deal. I mean, a large part of it is, of course, you know, it just takes so long to... To harvest. But we do have a couple days worth of food, so... I feel like it's something we can remedy... If we needed to. Um, okay, so let's just... Alright, so we put that there... Let's put another one here. 
And then another one here. <clears throat> yeah, the lights... <clears throat> sorry. The lights don't seem to be as harsh as they used to be. There we go. Unfortunately, uh, it would appear that um, we don't have nearly enough. Big shock, right? Ah, the things we do for aesthetics. At least it grows while they're asleep. Let's go check the uh, the front part. I'm, like I said, I'm not really sure where we're going to be building the the berry farms. I'd like to go up and down with it, but it's going to take a rather large building, which means we're going to need a lot of um, <clears throat> stonemasons. A lot of stonemasons. And uh, we may even need more rubble. Uh, that, that could potentially end up being an issue for us. That's right. I mean, the threat level is pretty mild right now anyway. <laughs> At least I have a really long maze. On the, the map that me and Pan are playing on, I have a lot... We have to have a lot of uh, archers. I even had to like build off because we built inside a mountain. And so I even had to build off the mountain. Because it was the only way to, uh, you know, uh, fix the problem. <clears throat> so we have like eight slingers uh, in the section, you know, right before you get into the mountain area. And then right behind them, we have eight archers. And they mop up most of the low-level trash mobs. And then once you get past that, there's like... I think there's like, what, 20 crossbowmen. And, yeah, well, I mean... They're crossbowmen. They they do their job, trust me. Um, okay, so... We were going to do this part, like so... I fell in the hole. Whoops. My bad. Cool. Yeah, I like getting all this finished. Uh, it, it was something that, in my opinion, was sorely needed. Unfortunately, though, at least for now, we're going to have to live with a lot of disorganization. But uh, it looks like we'll be fine. And it also looks like it's kind of going to become morning, so. Whoops. So we have one free bed, which is like, you know, always nice, I suppose. So we're just going to, nope, don't want that. Ah, oh, I don't have any stonemasons. That's actually really annoying. Okay. So, we're going to put three right here, probably. The more stonemasons we have, obviously, more work we can get done. But we also need to make sure that we don't expand too quickly, because we obviously and clearly need food in huge quantities, I might add. So, <laughs> oh no, oh, I don't even have enough beds now. Great. All right, let me go. I want to let me. Okay, whatever. 
I was gonna say, well, won't it let me go down in here? But there it goes. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> I don't think that... Which way are these even facing? No. Okay. Huh. Colony. Group to fill all jobs. Yeah, I think that might actually end up being enough. We're just kind of shoving these things basically anywhere we can shove them. I mean, we should be fine. We'll find out. I'll obviously hang down in here and just to, just to make sure that we have everything. Oh yeah, they're fine. We can always go further back if we need to. You know, since we can make basically any resource we need or want. Good, good. Uh, meals went down quite significantly, but I think a large part of that is, is, you know, in the early morning hours, there's not a whole lot going on, so it's kind of like, well, yeah, duh, of course. Uh, wheat gruel. Um, do not waste my wheat on that crap. Nope. Because these guys make wheat porridge, which is mm, a lot better. It's kind of annoying. I like really, 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 really want to expand. But I kind of can't. I mean, I'm going to right now because, you know, I want the stonemasons. And obviously, the more stonemasons we have, the faster we can, you know, get resources and build and all that good fun stuff and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get more and more and more and more and more awesome all right well this is starting to look pretty good. We'll also need to redo the, the front entrance because it's off-centered and all kinds of other annoyances, but we don't really we don't really need to do that right now. There's a whole lot of things, of course, that you know obviously need to be done, but we'll get there. I'm really glad I finally decided to, you know, cover, uh, redo this, not redo, but actually do this series. So I've always kind of liked this game, but I don't know. Doesn't seem like a lot of people are super into it in the same way that I am. And then again, I guess I sort of do get it to a certain degree. Like the very, very beginning is so boring and it is it is boring even i can attest that it is just you know kind of boring anyway seeing at how we have all of this there we go i don't really like that there we go. Ah, see, now we should be getting quite a bit of wheat. Looks like we are. Well, we're also getting a bunch of berries on top of that, but... They are making some porridge. Yep. Right at the end, too, I tell you. You know, like, right at the end of the day... They just, you know, swoop right in with their porridge making. Look at it. Look at them. Hmm. 
<laughs> it just I don't I don't really I don't really fully understand what he's doing there to be completely honest with you. Like I can see what he's doing, but I don't really like fully get what he's doing. <clears throat> he's just standing oh, come on. I'm kinda glad that I I stopped all the other stuff. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, I guess we're kind of growing. I I guess. You know, I, I guess. Uh, do we have... Yeah, we have enough beds. All right, so what I'm going to do, even though it's not really the absolute best thing, is I'm going to place down another weed farmer. And the reason for that is it's just, you know, getting that surplus, it's pretty important. And there's no real reason not to do it. And I'll just temporarily place like a crate here, a tool shop here, and a grocery bench there. And that way, even if he has to walk here from who knows where, um, you know. He'll have something. There we go. Problem solved. Farmer, go here. Okay. I want to see, like, a really nice surplus. Hmm. I'm not really certain what I was doing with this. I mean, I can see what I was trying to do with this, but. Hmm. Okay. I get the idea now. I don't know why I did it that way. So much more confusing. Ah, that's nice soft lighting. Love it. Big, big fan of that nice soft lighting. Oh, nice. Some of the wheat's finally, you know, growing up over there. Hmm. All right, so now the question really becomes, do I want to go down with the berry farms or add or like add and extend. I mean, the problem that I'm having here is that these berry farms are sort of vital and I can't remove them. Because the other thing I would like to do is start, you know, removing everything. But I can't because, well, I mean, hang on, chair is old and squeaky. Uh, I can't just start removing stuff because I, I need these berry farms uh, closed. So I'm kind of I'm kind of at an impasse. I kind of can't really do anything about that. So I guess we'll just watch these and we'll continue to just steadily grow because that's 
really that's the main thing that I can do is I can grow. Now, of course, there's a lot of science stuff as well. Like, you know, we could get a tanner, which would make like, you know, uh, cooked meat actually that's one we could definitely do like right now uh i feel like we could really do that one like that one is that one is significantly easier to achieve and accomplish um okay so obviously of course we don't actually have what we need yet um because you know we don't, we don't have it. But what we can do is get another pottery station and another water pump. Uh, the reason for that is is because they are oh so very slow at their job. Mm. Very, very slow. Extremely slow at their job. So, that'll give two more. And that should, you know, as always, do that. And as for these, I mean, we're just going to keep, you know, bumping it up. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of where they need to be, but it's about to get, you know, a lot, you know, worse because, you know, we're kind of doing that do we actually have all right so we have the planks and the firewood now which is you know nice i suppose we're gonna bump that up and then we're gonna bump that up and we're gonna bump these up as well because we're not gonna bump any of the other stuff up though all the other stuff can stay as is but should be fine uh, the earthen wares is something that we're going to be using for a really long time. And so that's kind of why it's like, yeah, we're going to we're going to have to keep the earthen wares, you know, as is for a while. The only problem I have with, you know, this whole method that we're doing right now is that we are very much. Uh, how do we say this? Um. We're kind of like, you know, eating into a lot of our um, resources and all. But hopefully, hopefully, before we know it, we will have the tannery. And when we have the tannery, we can start making stuff with the animal carcasses. And that will at least provide a slight avenue of money. Ah, of course. Of course. I mean, pretty much everything is equal to these guys. These two right here. So, you know. Again, we just hurry up and wait. The monster threat is interesting as well. We'll see what that does. More in the morning. But not in the morning. The evening. Why did I say morning? Yes. Perfect. It is kind of annoying, though, that they don't check what the other is working on. So they'll just kind of, like, run over. I guess it's not really the, you know, the worst thing ever. Oh, cool. We recruited 100 colonists. I could have sworn we had already gotten over that mark, though. Whatever. Whatever. And we have a tannery. Yes. Very nice. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to place this uh, somewhere. Right here we'll do. Colony, recruit, stockpile. Got two of these. Whoa. That would have been bad. Like, no thank you. Um, we got another tannery. Nice. Recruit to fill all jobs. And then we will click the animal carcass. 
We'll buy five of them. And then we will sell five of these. Buy 25. Buy five. Sell them all. Okay. And now we have 83 animal carcasses. And that will be extremely useful because as they, you know, carve everything up, we get the skin and the raw meat, both of which are quite useful. And the raw meat will then be used by them. I mean, at least they're stockpiling a little bit of the wheat rule, I guess. So actually, this is porridge, isn't it? So... Yeah, we're stockpiling porridge. Yay. Oh, nice. So we got the skin and all that stuff. That's kind of cool. I mean, 100 colonists should be capable of being supported by four wheat fields, but maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. I mean, even four really badly laid out wheat fields should... I don't know. I feel like should do something. But evidently not. Anyway, we're just gonna go back and start placing this again. I mean, if I have to, I'll just, you know... I will absolutely 100% build me a nice second tower here. Nice. Well, not really a second tower, but we're going to go up, like, you know, another floor. 100% we will go up another floor. I don't know how many floors we'll be able to go up. I think it's in a square, so we should actually be able to go fairly high. I think, yeah, okay, good. Standard Minecraft controls. So, so yeah, we'll have the second thing up here, and then so on and so on. Although I am kind of tempted to put it here, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll leave me enough room for all of that. It might. You know, then you got that, that little gap, you know, feel like a little bump. Come on. Come on, stockpile some more. Well, I guess they are eating it, so technically the berry meals are actually, you know, being properly utilized. And again, you know, a lot of this stuff does take time to, you know, the for the effects to be seen. Especially in the case of... Is he in the berry meal? Nice. Uh, especially in the case of... Uh, you know, like the wheat and stuff. It just it takes time. It takes a, a lot of time. On the upside, at least we are getting stone. Really, that's one of the biggest things. If I could somehow increase that without increasing my, my food budget, that would be, like, so handy. Ah, come on. Oh. <laughs> Just need two more. No, don't go to sleep. We need two more. Why would you do this? Why? Why? Okay, and stone rumbles going up. Um, everything else seems to be going up, which is yeah, good. Um, we're going to go over here and crank up the number of arrows. To be honest, we probably should have more than just two guys making these arrows, but... You know, we we work with what we have within the means of what we had or have, I should say. Alright, and we're just gonna we're just gonna watch 
uh, partly because we want to make sure that we have more than enough. I think, I think thanks to the fact that I am amazing. Well, obviously I'm amazing, but I think just based on the way that this is, I think we'll be okay. At some point, once we do redo the front, we'll redo the maze and we'll make the maze proper. I don't really like the way the maze is kind of laid out right now, so, you know. But again. I mean, so far, this is kind of fun. I tell you, though, on that one me and Pan have, they just, like, hundreds of them just bottleneck, like, right there. It's it's absolutely crazy. But our threat level is just so much higher. At, at some point, I'll have to, you know, show it off, showcase it, if you will. Because uh, it is nice. I, I do like it. And also, another thing I'm thinking of is eventually redoing that bottom part down here. And then, you know, where they sleep. And then having, like, a whole firing range down there. Probably just slingers and archers. And then they they don't maze or anything. They just go in and then they come out, I don't know, somewhere. And then when they come out, then they just walk in a straight line over this way. That way they're all walled in. But we do have to be careful. You know, we don't want it to be too big. So it probably won't be any further out than the, what those torches currently are at. Oof. I also really don't like the floating blocks, but, I mean, that's, like, really easy to fix anyway. So, whatever. I mean, it's most optimal, right? Because, like, if you had people down there, they'd have a perfect clear line of sight. But I just really, really, really don't like... Uh... The floating blocks. I'm just not a fan. Wow, two whole meals. That's... That's nice, I guess. Well... I guess we should look on the bright side. At least they, you know, at least we have some kind of, uh, nah, what's the word that we're looking for here? Eh, at least they're growing, I guess. You know, like, we, we have more wheat than before. I wonder if I can make that jump. Think I make that jump? Nope. Oh, that hurt. kind of funny i wonder if no there's health i swear there was another thing here it, it wasn't it wasn't the points increase because that's from the other stuff i swear there was another i don't know maybe i'll have to go back and review like my old video or something all right so this is more than enough i mean they don't even like get to here barely i think like every now and again they do but Every now and again, I can live with, you know, oddities happen all the time. Yeah, this is, this is good. This is good, too. I don't. Where is the guy that runs this? Oh. You think his bed would be, like, you know, literally right there, right? Like, that's what you would think? <laughs> well, whatever. Hopefully they'll redo the beds once we optimize everything. But that should, like, literally be his bed. I, I don't... I don't know, everyone. It's, it's crazy.
Well, do we at least have... Yes, we do. Oh my gosh, we do. Aha! Alright. We'll just do a one ring around, just for, you know, not falling off. Not falling off sounds like a pretty good idea, you know? Well, I mean, we got somewhere. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this view. This is a beautiful view. I like this view. You just look down at all my all my lovely colonists people something. Okay. Weird. Fixable, though. <laughs> oh, I never... Wow. Okay, well. Sure, thanks, game. I... Yes? Wow. Yeah, if, I mean, for this one, it's kind of obvious. Playing the resource waiting game. I guess I could go tunnel, but I didn't want to tunnel in this episode. I didn't want to do all the tunneling. I know it's a requirement, and next episode it'll definitely be a thing. But, you know, I wanted one episode where I'm not stuck underground. Because that is a, a very big problem in the Vintage Story series right now. I'm mass harvesting stuff like quartz and all this other stuff. And, I mean, well. It eats up a lot of resources. Oh, yeah. You know, that was another thing. Since we last played, they've uh, rewritten the water shader completely. I don't know if that was in the last video that I did or not, but even if not, I'm going to show it again. Look at that. So much better. The old one looks so weird. Sound effect, though. Still there. Such a weird sound. But it looks so much better. Underwater. Above water. All that sort of stuff. So, I'm pretty pleased with that part at least. Yeah, I think the idea and the reason for using the towers was that I could have... Uh, you know, logs and stuff placed everywhere, which I think I still will do, of course. I hope so, anyway. You know, maybe maybe at the top of these, I can put, like, you know, a gigantic, uh, you know, like, just a really massive something. Oh, man, you know, when I, when I expand outwards five, that's going to be tough, because I'm going to have to go... Five that way, five that way, and five that way. The only way I'm not really going to go too far five over is this way. Well, I mean, I am, but not in the same manner. Largely due to the fact that the entrance is here. But that sort of seems like a ways off. Alright, 200 it is. 200 it is. Let's see, do we have... We have none of those, so... I think I'm going to grab one more pottery station. The main reason for that... Well, one, because I can. But also, uh, it, just, it just seems the most practical right now. Yeah, porridge is kind of building up. Berries is building up. So... We are steadily increasing food. Even if we're not building up a stockpile of, say, the wheat porridge, for example. We are steadily growing in food, I suppose. Another tannery would probably also be a pretty good idea, but... At least they're basically also exclusively working in black cobblestone now. That's nice. Alright, we can finish this off and 
Come on now. Okay. Now, we just need to know how far up do we go? One, two, and then three. All right. We can do that. So, one, two, really? Two, and three. Yeah, we're going to need a mm, couple stairs, I imagine. Mm, just, you know, a couple. Where are they at? The gray quarter blocks. One. Why would I do that to myself? One, two, three. All right, and how many of these do I need? Uh, well, I guess technically I don't have that, so, you know. So, one two, three, and four. So I'm going to need a fourth one. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, that works, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you know, we have a little bit of light now. Mm, all right, put the torch right here. Perfection. All right, and well, we do have enough for the bed over here, um, and another crate. But it looks like that's going to have to basically just kind of stay over there. Yeah. Lovely. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't mean to be... Down on your face. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you didn't want me stepping on your face, you should not have come here and be a colonist, you know? It's just, just common sense. And I am out. And that way, also, they won't have to build but so many. So at least we got to the next step, you know, the next area. Uh, definitely completing a lot of the resources. So, yep, now we can. Start filling this in, and I feel like, you know, we'll be able to fill it in in a day or two because we're not using any of the white cobblestone or anything like that yet. Uh, we may actually have to go up one more. I'm not entirely certain. Uh, seems right. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we may have to go up one more. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we are going to have to go up one more. Yep. And... <laughs> Why? There we go. I think I'm right on this. I'm not sure. I might not be. Hmm. I'll just leave it like that. I'm actually completely fine with that. I'll just fill that in. No one will ever really know the difference, I guess. But this, this way here is uh, perfectly fine, so... Now, if only I had, you know, some resources. But on the bright side, once once morning comes, which should be literally any moment now, uh, I'll get rid of this bed. 
and then we will kind of start to rearrange uh, some stuff and yep I'll leave it like that I guess uh, but I will get rid of this bed and I'll move this a bit more over to here go on ahead and just pick that up to be honest he's so in the way it it may very well end up you know just chilling out just waiting Look at him wandering down there. All right, we'll grab that, and I will place this here. I don't know. Does he turn? No, he doesn't. Okay, he hasn't gone for food yet, I guess. Or maybe he did. I don't know. Yeah, you go up to the the three and then you have to do the next set so all we're really doing is just you know laying down the foundation for uh the next part there ah oh that's nice wow you guys are like really moving over there look at that and you know what's crazy? They're actually eating up a lot of the stone rubble, which is just mind-blowing to me. Kind of putting it in that corner, though, really didn't enable me to, you know, put everything in the absolute best spot, but eh, I think it's fine. I am going to go down into this pit, though. Because, I mean, we don't really have that much time left, but, yeah, it's one of those moments where it's like, hey, we're gonna, we need to expand the stone rubble manufacturing here. But I would like to put a lot of the food production up above. Now, it's just such a pain to carve through all of this. So, now we have room. That's kind of funny. There we go. He'll come back. Yep, see, he's already coming back. And now we have room. A lot of room. I mean, can you imagine spending your whole life just going from this room to over to here? <laughs> it's like... Your whole life, it, it's just spent, you know, just essentially, you know, trapped in this one teeny tiny little room. Hmm, maybe I didn't go far enough over. I didn't go far enough back. That was the real issue. You know, I might get rid of this center wall. I don't know yet, because I could fit a whole lot more in here. But at, at the very least, you know, we I did do a little bit of mining. But at the very least, we got a little bit in there. Not a lot, but a little bit in there. Still, we're at the one hour mark. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, 
subscribe and share. And if you do subscribe, definitely hit that bell so you get updates. And if you'd like to support this channel, get early access to videos and all that good stuff, there's a join button down below and a link. And I will see you all in the next one. You guys have a good one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member-exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.